my YouTube, this is Sam and Team Samurai X1 here coming to you guys with a Lightstorm Ruler deck profile for the January 1st, 2015 format. So I hope you guys enjoy this deck profile. Uh, and as you guys all know it, Honest is now back at 2, uh, giving this deck a little bit more push into becoming one of the top 10 decks of the format, in my opinion. Uh, Lightstorm Rulers is one of the, uh, the decks that are able to just abuse Honest. Uh, and just, you know, game your opponent, which is uh, honest alone. Uh, and of course, with uh, the help of JD, of course, which is the main engine and the main and the main uh, key card of the deck to just, you know, blow up the entire board. Honest is just another addition into the deck, uh, giving it more speed and giving it more uh, protection over your light monsters and stuff like that. So I just hope you guys enjoy this deck profile. And of course, Honest and uh, Light Sworn go way back when, when um, it was a format where... Uh, Honest was at 3, and you know, uh, Lightsworn was the best deck uh, when Honest was at 3, you know, because you know, you're just able to just game uh, with game your opponent with Honest alone is absolutely broken. So, I just hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about this deck. And, um, in my like, in my personal opinion, um, Lightsworn Rulers is really underrated. Uh, so yeah, guys, you know, I hope that you know, with of course the two Honest, this deck comes back into speed, uh, and players will be you know, playing this deck more more than other decks and stuff like that. So I just hope this deck sees more play with the next format. But of course, in my opinion, it will definitely see a lot of play since Onyx is now at 2. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile. And without further ado, let's get started with the monsters. Started with the monsters, of course, we got the self-explanatory. Uh, triple JD. JD is, of course, your win condition. You summon JD, block, uh, pop the entire field, attack for 3k and stuff like that. Uh, you guys all know what JD does. It's it's broken. Uh, two ride-in for our Lightsworn lineup. Two ride-ins. Three Lumina, one Felice. Felice is great. I drop Aaron for Felice is because uh, Felice is um, is a good card. Although she's a dead dead draw uh, when you draw it, but you're able to just ditch her out with Lumina and uh, bring her back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can bring her back. Cannot be normal summon or set. Must be special summon by a card effect and cannot be special summon by other ways. So, yeah, so you can special summon with of course uh, Lumina by ditching her uh, by. Uh, summon Luna, ditch her, bring her back, uh, Synchro 4, of course, a level 7, stuff like that. So she's good, but the only uh, thing bad about her is, of course, if you draw it, she becomes dead. It's, she, it's the same reason as Wolf, and then you play, of course, one Wolf, one Wolf. So yeah, one Wolf and one Felice, they both have the same reason. But, of course, Felice is better than, than Wolf, uh, because uh, she's a tuner. And um, although he's a 2100 beater, she's a tuner, and she has a great effect where she's able to pop uh, a monster on the field, then mill three cards, and stuff like that. So, of course, one Felice, one Wolf. Uh, two Lylas, your walking MST, one Jane, your beat stick, one Gareth, uh, Gareth and Light, and, and of course Lumina is broken. You guys all know the basic combo of back in the day where Gareth and Lumina it just, you know, uh, took over uh, the format. Uh, one Minerva, and that is it for our Lightsworn engine. So we played the three JD and of course our eight names. So yeah, guys, that is it for our Lightsworn engine. And off to our non light sworn engine is of course we play the double honest honest is absolutely amazing as i said before honest is just able to single single handedly win you a game uh, by itself you know honest is able to protect any any of these cards uh that you have uh on the field you know especially when you're protecting lumina if you're able to to, to protect lumina with of course uh honest and the next turn you're just able to just otk your opponent with just single single handedly uh lumina with of course ditching a card Bring it back right in, mill two cards, you know, just go off from there. Yeah, it's yeah, it's pretty great. And Honest, of course, it's a, a level four, so you're able to go into uh, rank four XYZs with Honest and stuff like that. So Double Honest is just a great addition into the deck. Uh, just so good. And, of course, Light Swords is, is able to just abuse Honest, like, so heavily. So, yeah, so Double Honest is great. You know, like, like, you know, Honest and Light Swords are, like, best friends. So, yeah, guys. And I'm sorry for bending my cards. Yeah, I gotta stop doing that. I just have a habit of bending my cards. So yeah guys, off to our dragons and our boss monsters is of course to play one blaster, one redox, one tempest, and of course one right, light ray diablos. I used to play uh, two rulers and two diablos, but now I like to play uh, three rulers and one diablos. Is because, um, uh, the oh, the thing, yeah, so I, I used to play, what's it called, two two Diablos and Blaster and Tempest, but I cut off one Light Ray Diablos for Redox is because we play Globe Bulb. Uh, Globe Bulb and Redox just combo off really, really well together. Uh, so yeah. And of course, uh, it's also, um, you have more targets for, of course, banishing your uh, Eclipse and your Dragons and stuff like that. But this is what I have so far. I played three Dragons and one Diablos. You guys can either play two and two. It's up to your personal preference. But I think now, uh, with the course of Globe Bulb back into play. And even if you guys like to play Card Trooper, uh, Redox and Card Trooper is great as well. But now, since, of course, yeah, Globe Bulb is now back into play, I, I, I personal, in my personal opinion, love to play uh, Redox. 
So yeah, guys, that is it for our rulers. And of course, with these uh, four guys, and of course, our three JDs, um, you don't want to play any more than seven big boss monsters. Is because uh, when you draw these guys without any um, a mill engine, they become really dead. And yeah, guys. And the reason why I play three rulers is because you know I I want to try to mill them as much as possible. So because uh, they're more versatile than Light, light Ray Diablos. If Diablos gets um, uh, milled to the grave. Um, you can't really do anything with him in the rear guard, uh, other than just banishing him for uh, a dragon target. But you know, these guys, when they get milled, they're, actua they're able to activate their effects uh, in their grave and just, you know, uh, spam out the board uh, with big beaters such as Tempest and Blasters and stuff like that. You know, yeah, guys, in my personal opinion, I wouldn't suggest uh, running more than seven big monsters. Uh, seven big dragons is because you you don't want to draw them you want to either mill them or either add them to, uh, add them to their hand with of course Eclipse Wyvern so guys the only thing you want to mill is of course these guys and you have Eclipse Wyvern to search out these guys so yeah that is it for our big monsters uh, next we play for our other monsters one glow bulb uh, star explanatory glow bulb but you're able to just OTK your opponent uh, with this and, of, and uh, obviously it combos off really really well with of course Redox Next, we play, of course, Triple Eclipse Wyvern. Sorry, Spanish, sorry. Your searcher for your Light Ray Diablos. And, of course, your Judging Dragons. Uh, next, I play Triple Necro Gardner and Double Curry Bandit. Um, as I said before, guys, Necro Gardner is absolutely amazing. You want to almost all the time mill Necro Gardner because Necro Gardner in Light Swords protects you from so much uh, attacks that your opponent can try to go for. Uh, as, and, of course, Light Swords don't play traps at all. Um, so Necro Gardner, you want to mill this as much as possible because Necro Gardner can be used uh, to protect you. Um, yeah, so Necro Gardner is great. I don't know why people bash on this card. Necro Gardner is just so broken. Uh, you know, uh, like, you know, sometimes, uh, last time when I tested it, when I didn't play Gardners at all, uh, you guys don't understand how many times I lost because I, I didn't have Necro Gardner. Necro Gardner just used and serves as a protection uh, of your life points and, and it protects your uh, monsters as well. So yeah, it's Necro Gardner is good, guys. And of course, uh, double carry bandit. If I had a third carry bandit, I would definitely play a third. Uh, but now, since I only have two, you know what? What can I do? Uh, so I can play two for now. Curry bandit is absolutely amazing. You want to draw curry bandit um, when you go first. Curry bandit is just broken. You know, you mill five cards. You add a spawn trap card to your hand if you mill it, and you play really less spawn traps. So uh, you're most likely gonna mill um, a lot of monsters with curry bandit. So yeah, bandit is great. Next up, uh, next I play a double sh uh, Shadow Dragon. Shadow Dragon is absolutely amazing. Like even if you draw it or you mill it, they both become great. Is because this card is well, number one is it is used as a compulsory evacuation device when you set it. And the next is of course when it when it is milled, you're able to get its effect off to pop one spell trap card uh, on your opponent's side of the field, which is absolutely amazing. So and it's of course alone. It's a 1900 beat uh, 1900 beater beat stick. So Shadow Dragon is great. And last but not least, to round off our monster is to play one BLS with, of course, uh, seven dark targets. You're able to just bring out BLS uh, really quickly. And, of course, BLS and Honest is just game. Uh, so, yeah. So, one BLS to round off our monster lineup. So, that is it for our monster. I believe I play 31 monsters um, in this deck. Yeah. So, yeah, thir 31 monsters. Now, off to our spells and traps is, of course, I play one charge. So, explanatory. Triple solar recharge. Draw power. One Soul Charge, Soul Charge literally steals games, absolutely amazing, and one Foolish Burial. And last but not least, I play Double Needle, needle Bugs uh, Nest. Uh, two is great, um, but if I had a third, I would consider playing a third, but uh, who knows, uh, as format progresses, I'll be definitely be making changes into the side deck, and of course the main deck as well. So this is what I have so far as in my main deck. So a 40 card deck, yeah, it's pretty solid. I feel like this, yeah, right now the lineup that I have is uh, pretty solid. So uh, off to our side deck. What we have for our side deck is, of course, as I explained before, through all my side deck, uh, through all my side deck uh, in 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 all my decks. As I said before, this is just a rough draft of what I may be uh, playing um, with this deck on the upcoming format. But this is what I have so far. It is a rough draft, guys, and it's totally your own personal preference to either play these or not. But if you guys uh, have any have any suggestions on what I should play in this side deck, please leave it down in, in the comment section below. I love to reach read your guys uh comments for feedbacks and you know you know every feedback uh, helps me become a better uh Yugi tuber uh for my channel. So of course start off with three MSTs, double breakthrough skill, triple roll decree, you barely play any traps, double shadow imprisoning mirror, double fairy wind, 
double maxi and of course one Raikou for our side deck this is what I have so far now off to our extra deck extra deck is gonna change as format uh, progresses as well and some cards I am missing and I'll be explaining to you guys what cards I'm missing and what cards you should play uh, instead of the cards I'm playing so double Michael Michael is great uh, two Michael is absolutely amazing Michael is one of the best uh, synchros uh, in, in the extra deck, you know, you summon Michael with Raiden or Lumina, uh, you banish one of your opponent's uh, problematic cards like, you know, Scout and stuff like that. So yeah, so double Michael, uh, one Goyo, one Stardust. Uh, I play Stardust because I don't have Stardust Spark Dragon, but if you guys have a Spark, Stardust Spark Dragon, please play Stardust Spark uh, over the Stardust. Uh, one Black Rose, one Crimson Blader. One Scrap and one Dark Strike Fighter. Dark Strike Fighter is another great addition into, uh, into, into the deck that got unbanned. Uh, this card is absolutely amazing because sometimes when you have a JD on the field and a Dark Strike Fighter, you uh, you 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 summon JD, pop the entire field, bring make a Dark Strike Fighter, uh, blah blah blah, attack, and then you know use Dark Strike Fighter's effect, tribute to JD, and then your opponent will lose that damage, which is absolutely broken. So yeah, so JD is, is level eight, eight hundred times two is sixteen hundred. So trip with the JD, your opponent burns sixteen hundred. It's absolutely amazing. So one Dark Strike Fighter. Uh, off to our XYZs, we play one, one Draco Sack. Yeah, Drago, one big guy, one Draco Sack, one Dweller, one Chain, one Castell, one the Castle Emerald, and of course one Gold Streak Alucard. And as you can see, I do not play a Fell Grand in my extra deck. Is because I do not own a Fell Grand. I'll definitely, definitely need to pick up a Fell Grand. But if you guys have a Fell Grand, please play it instead of uh, the, the the second Michael. Yeah, guys. So this is it, it for my um. Let's run ruler, ruler deck profile. I just hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile, guys. Don't forget to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And please leave down in the comment, comment section below feedbacks on what you guys um, may think about this deck and how I may improve this deck as well. Guys, don't forget to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And please give this video a thumbs up. Team Samsung, Sam signing out. Peace and enjoy the 2015 list.